Greetings, members, one and all of the Salvation Nation. It is indeed Friday night, and we are live and in effect as I report to you from behind this plastic microphonic device. Hope everybody is doing well. Yes, indeed, we are here, ready to report with a scammer calling right off the bat. Don't you love that? Gotta love that. Hello? 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 Hi. Yeah, hi. Yeah, sir, this is Mark Adam. I'm calling from Accidental Claim Helpline. How are you doing today? Are I'm, doing good? Uh, I'm doing okay, just okay. You know what okay, I mean? God bless you, sir. God you know what I mean? You, sir, and God. Yeah, go ahead. Hello? Oh, Shoot you. you. Oh, dang it. Let's see. All right. Well, we're here. We're anyways. Well, anyways, they're very good. All right. Thank you, guys. All right. We are here. And uh, let's see here. Who is here? We got Tony Erickson. Tony Erickson was very first tonight. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Tony. And uh, John Knox is here. Happy Tiger is here. And so is Kevin Hawthorne, all the way from Lakeland, Florida. Good to see you. Red Crawler. Although, I will say... He's coming to us all the way from Lakeland, Florida, but Lakeland, Florida is very local to him. That's right nearby, from what I understand. Red Crawler is here. Good to see you. Wasilla Stacker, good to see you. According to my stream, I got the first like tonight. All right, the first like. That's cool. Well, thank you. That means Tony didn't like this live stream up yet. Man, and I'm just kidding you. Thomas uh, Manzi is here. Amber is here. HVAC is here from Atlanta, Georgia. Good to see you. And... Good to see you guys. All right, John Ream is here. So let's get into these comments. We're going to go back just briefly in time from 24K, Arabia Phoenix. Not in the copper, but that is a nice thick coin. Yeah, I like them. I like them nice and thick for sure. And uh, Scott Alot says, hey, SM, thanks for sharing this. And he says, um, as always, a beautiful piece of silver. I just recently got my first 10-ounce single hard loaf bar. I can see why these are popular. If your Geiger bar is similar in shape and dimension, I might have to get one of those. It is very close, very close. That's one of the reasons why I like it, Scott, a lot. Another scammer. Busy night. Hello? Hello? Auto dial, robo call. We'll see if it actually connects to anything. Nope, it's not going to connect. No IQ is here. Welcome, No IQ. Good to see you. Good to see you, No IQ. Uh, Stephen Cosette says here, all stackers should be happy today. 30 days ago, the price of an ounce of gold was $1,991. That was just 30 days ago. And the price of an ounce of silver was $22.40. In 30 days, we had an increase of 9% in gold and 13% in silver. I like 30-day periods like that. I do too. That really puts it into perspective. Gold and silver are doing just fine, uh, no question, especially given silver's performance in the last 30 days. We should be pretty happy, I would say. Yes, indeed. Very good. Welcome. Everybody is here. China Mitchell is here. Welcome, China. Good to see Stock Jockey is here. Pinch the loaf. Oh, yeah. We love to pinch those loaves. A little methane gas doesn't hurt anybody unless you're in a near proximity. The Asset Stacker is here. Matthew Crustlife is here. Welcome. Good to see you. Cyber Curtain Twitcher on this year. Uh, about this, I believe this lie about gold and silver for years. Actually, you might like that video if you've not seen it. it kind of puts things into perspective. CCT, I always appreciate your point of view and insights, Al. I do kick myself sometimes for not buying more gold a decade ago and instead focusing on silver. The reality, though is that I probably wouldn't have been able to, to save enough to buy gold. Silver was easy to buy, though. Yep, and it's it's neat because you kind of enjoy some of the pieces you, that you purchase. I so, certainly do understand that, especially from a collector's point of view. All right. Very good. All right. Uh, so John Knox changes his uh, his uh, number once a year to avoid the scam caller. Sal gives his number out, and they all call him. That's right, exactly right. For sure. Happy Tiger is waving to us. Hello, Happy Tiger. Silver Days XRP, a.k.a. 47, is here, too. Welcome, guys. Silver Supplement is with us tonight as well. Good to see you and 79. Uh, I will say this. Somebody uh, from a user I had, had not recognized, I, don't, I didn't even recognize the account name, said that they were in the chat last time 
and said, I'm out of here. He didn't say he didn't say hello to me, so I'm gone. And I always try to say hello to everybody in the chat as much as I can. I don't always see everybody, but it's like if somebody is that petty where they're going to leave a channel just because I didn't say hello to them in one live stream, it's like, come on. I just don't understand it. But anyways, Missouri Freedom Initiative is here. I love, welcome. If you are who you who I think you are, I interviewed you, um, and I've been keeping up with all the latest news and been posting videos. In fact, I just finished a video this evening uh, about Wisconsin. And if you can reach out, because I'd love to talk to you again. If 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 that if you're who I think you are. But anyways, um, but good to see you. And I'm like to keep up the revolution for sound money. I call it. And it's a, it's a middle finger, one big middle, two big middle fingers to the Federal Reserve. And Wisconsin is heading there, and, and it's encouraging to see indeed. Metal Seer, Metal Seer, good to see you. Welcome. If you can save $625, you can stack gold. Amen, brother. You don't even need that much and still get a pretty good deal, but that is probably right. It's about a quarter ounce of gold. You're right, Metal Seer. The first super chat of the night. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome. Tim Goodson. We have a huge problem in Congress. We have a Speaker of the House who has sold us out with this massive $1.2 trillion spending bill with a lot of money going to things that are definitely not needed. In fact, they go to contrary to what many of us feel and believe. Uh, and it is, it, is, it is an absolute travesty and atrocity what's going on in Washington. And... Right now, we're spending $1 trillion every 100 days, and this bill is just going to add another $1.2 trillion to that. It's absolutely insanity. And these are Republicans that are, that, that are the problem this time. He's a Speaker of the House. Absolutely disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Uh, but, you know, I mean, I don't know what to say. Yes, we still need to vote. We need to vote for the most fiscally conservative, fiscally conservative politicians we can find out there. But anyways, very good. All right. Welcome, everybody. Glad you're here. Good to see you. Very good. All right. Let's see here. So thank you. CCT does make a good point for sure. And then speaking of CCT, he's here. Welcome. He is here. Uh... Well, Tim Goodson, the Senate will not block the bill. There's a lot more weasels in the Senate than there are in the House. That's a whole idea. It's probably going to go right up to the desk of the president to avoid this, quote, shutdown. But the thing is, is a government shutdown. What happens in a government shutdown? 17 to 18 percent of the government still functions. You're still going to get all the entitlement checks. None of that is going to be stopped. You won't be able to go to a national park. Oh, no, I can't go to a national park. Well, you know, to me, that's a very minor. That's a very minor thing. And all the important parts of government, if you can even call it that, all the entitlements will still be in place. And, uh, and in reality, I think, if anything, a government shutdown will realize just how useless and feckless the government is. I think it would be a good thing to have a government shutdown. Shut it down. Exactly right. So, I mean, you typed that just as I said it. Oh, my goodness. It's crazy. Yep. It's absolutely insanity. All right. Very good. Patriot, love, God, man. And by the way, I, I will say this, too. I'm on a little bit of a soapbox here. Because I know people that work in the federal government. And <clears throat> I'm not against people that work for the federal government. Um... You know, the people that are on the bottom, not the decision makers. I am against them. But everybody who works in the federal government, uh, and if it's shut down, does not mean that they're not going to get paid. They will get paid. It's just a furlough. The money's held uh, in a lockbox, if you will, uh, until the shutdown is over. But uh, I always tell these people, I say, well, hey, you work for the federal government. That is part of the cost of doing business working for the federal government. These things could happen. So you have to set aside savings, which is a good idea to do anyway. And, uh, of course, they didn't like, like it when I said that. But if I was working with the federal government, I would set aside some savings and live under my means for a period of 30 days or whatever, for ever, or pick the longest period of time that a shutdown occurred, set money aside specifically for that purpose. 
so that you can meet your obligations. And by the way, I will say this, probably most debtors, if you work for the federal government, would, would probably um, uh, relieve some of your debt until you can get paid. So there's that. But anyways. All right. Silver Patriot. Uh, it seems to me like people are diving headfirst into gold in the gold market out of fear. Yes, that very well could be the case. There are these people that have no experience in precious metals and do not realize how long it takes to get gold here. I believe this new blood will likely help solidify a new floor for gold. And I believe sub $2,000 gold would be a rare gift that should be taken advantage of. Stack on smartly. I agree with that, Silver Patriot. And I also will say that um, some of these people going in out of fear, they're, uh, they're going to probably get out of gold out of fear too uh, if it starts to go back down. So we'll see here. Dean is here. Welcome, Dean. JM Unleash is with us tonight. No IQ is still here. And by the way, no IQ, I did get your email. I, I just I got I got it right just before I came on here. But good, good email. Actually, that's video worthy too. Definitely something worthy of a video. All right. Sign up says here. Um, gold is distracting the sheep from silver. Well, I disagree with you, sign up. People who stack gold are definitely not sheep. No question about that. The lions know what's happening. Are you a sheep or a lion? I, I am a cougar. And I'm not I'm not talking about a, a, a mature woman who looks for young men. I'm definitely a guy. Maybe I'm a bear. Maybe I'm a rugrat. Maybe I'm a muskrat. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm an orangutan. I don't know. Pick your animal. I'll have to think of something. Very good. All right. Um... Let's see here. On Monday, the Department of Justice announces their decision on reopening the case against J.P. Morgan. Really? Reopening? I thought that was son, done and sentenced. Um, everything is at all-time highs, but silver is less than half of its all-time high. Which one are you more likely to increase your gains? To me, there is no question to me which is a smarter choice on which to buy. I know it's hard when Sal reads all these fake news articles to his followers. Well, the thing is, is what's fake news, sign up? Um, some of the stuff that you have brought to the table that you sent me is so ridiculous and, out, and, and has no basis in fact that you've sent me. It's all complete 100% conspiracy theory. And there's nothing wrong with having theories, and there's nothing wrong with conspiracies. The conspiracies are very real, but some of the stuff is way out there, way out there, and unsubstantiated, too. Uh, and so I would say what you share with me and what you talk about is a lot more fake than what I'm bringing here. Uh, but anyways, or if I do share some things that are out there, I put it into, into perspective. I do a lot of research on this channel sign up, so I don't appreciate the, uh, the, the knock on, on the stuff that I bring to, to, to my viewers. Uh, he says it takes a smidgen more of thought. Well, the thing is, is I've had private exchanges with you sign up. And, uh, and, you know, we have differing opinions and, and uh, on, on a lot of different things. But anyways, but silver is undervalued. I have no question, no, no, I have no argument with you there for sure. But still, we have to uh, keep things in perspective. And I've talked about that, why gold has gone up and why silver hasn't for a long time. Matthew, there you go. All right. Thank you, brother. Matthew, appreciate you being an honorary citizen. Thank you, my friend. A lot of good folks here. Silver Days is here. A Yankee Doodle is here. Welcome, Yankee Doodle. Good to see you. And we're good. That's right. Exactly, Yankee. Oh, Yankee Doodle has got it exactly right. I, I'm of the same mind. I don't sell my gold or silver if it drops. I hold on to it. Only sell if you have to. That's why it's good to have a buffer of cash on hand so you don't have to sell. Um... Yes, indeed. Very good point. All right, good to see. Twenty four eighty nine for a silver spot. I'm a cougar ran. I like that, China Mitchell. A cougar ran. Very good. Welcome, Eli. The tribe is here. Good to see you. Clear Lake Drive says Sal still believes silver a good buy at twenty five dollars and under. Gold is holding off a lot of casual uh, gold buyers with its new price. 
going to keep my eye out on platinum for now. All right, there you go. All right, good to be diversified. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. ah, as we slurp away, we're slurping away here. Let's see here. There you go, exactly. We're like dragons uh, hiding in our castle, exactly. Yes, the uh, the attack on Moscow. 40 people dead in this terrorist attack in Russia. Uh, that should be condemned worldwide of what happened there. Innocent people just gunned down in a theater. Uh, that was a horrible thing. I'd read about that just before I came on. Prayers of the people of Russia and Moscow. Uh, innocent people going out to enjoy a concert to get gunned down like that. Uh, there's some speculation it could be ISIS. Um, one thing is uh, Russia has been really hard on ISIS, um, just as we have, and uh, they and it's, and they're starting to make inroads again. In fact, some of the people that have come across our border have had ties to ISIS too. I don't know if they're making resurgence. Silver Wolverine is here. Good to see Silver Wolverine. He did a really good video about the markets the other day. Check him out. Yes, indeed. Yeah, it's a low blow when you go after after civilians like that. Um, and I don't know. To me, I haven't heard any statements from any U.S. officials, but they need to get on the horn immediately and condemn what happened in Moscow. That is the ultimate low blow. And now, you know, it's just, it's ridiculous. Silver Wolverine. Whoa, Silver Wolverine. Maybe the best video ever made. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Wow, very kind. I believe this lie about gold and silver for years. I did not um, get that many views, but I appreciate that, my friend. Sometimes when I do feel really, really good about a video and I think it's going to do, do great, it, it tanks. But anyways... Uh, eat all your fish. It's been so long since you've seen Eat All Your Fish. Welcome, fish. Good to see you, sir. I hope you're doing well. Thank you, Jay Unleashed, for posting a link to Civil Wolverine's channel. Yes, indeed. Good to see fish. Hope you're doing good, my friend. Long time. All right. And Michael K is here. Good to see you. And here's Metal Seer, one of the few who does an actual super thanks. Wait a second. We got a scammer. We're going to answer Metal Seer's comment here in just a second here. Wait a second here. Hello? Yes, Mr. Gephardt. Yes, this is Mr. Gephardt. How are you doing? I'm good, Mr. Gephardt. Um, uh, you had uh, we arranged for us to, to speak at this time a couple of days ago. That's right. Yes, indeed, we did. We did, and I appreciate you calling. Uh, and you're actually at, uh, well, you know, it is 10 minutes after 6. You're right on time. I like that. That's a good thing. So let's talk. Let's talk a little bit about business now. Did you just wake up? It sounds like you just woke up out of bed. Oh no, I've been up all day. You've been up for what? All day. All day. Okay. What time did you wake up this morning? Uh, um, well, uh, maybe six thirty-seven. Six thirty or seven or somewhere in between. Could you've been in sort of a. Of a of a of a state of unconsciousness for that half hour, you don't remember the exact time uh, that you woke up. Maybe it was a I don't know what you, sort of a, a suspended state of animation. Could that be have been the case between six thirty and seven? Oh, I don't think so. You don't think so, but you don't recollect where you were between the hours of six thirty and seven a.m. this morning, your time. Oh, well, I was in my home. You were in your home. But you don't remember the specific time. Were you? Could you have smoked the ganja the night before? Maybe, perhaps. Well, no, sir. I don't smoke. You don't smoke. Okay, very good. Okay, all right, nice. And no fentanyl either. I just want to throw that. Just want to make sure that wasn't a part of any kind of concoction. I don't use any drugs. Uh... Many drugs. Very good to hear. Good. So, what do you perceive, or can we theorize that could have happened between the hours of six thirty? And seven well, o'clock. Um, well, I was calling. Maybe talk about if you were looking for funding for your business, Mr. Gifford. Uh, right. I'm not. Um, okay. Right. Okay. We don't. So we want to go there. That's a sensitive subject with you. Very good. Okay. Let's talk about compounding interest. Can you explain to me how compounding interest work for when I pay this loan back? Um. No. I. I. I can't because again. My goal is to is to match the lender with uh, this with you with the best lender I think is best fit for you. Okay, well, I want to try to find the lender that has the best compounding interest statistics. Okay. Can we go through that real quickly here? 
on those. I don't. I don't have that information um, about because uh, I, I work with six different lenders, and I, I don't know. You work with six different lenders. What are the name of the lenders? Um, Rock Financials, ARF Financials, Seven Figure Funding, ARF. Credit. Sorry. Oh, is yes. that Automatic Rifle Funding? What does the ARF stand for? Automatic no, Rifle. What is it? No, no, it's, it's not Automatic Rifle. Uh, oh, not, not Automated Rifle. Automatic Rifle. I don't think that's it. Uh, hmm. Trying to think what it could be. Could it, Perhaps it might be Armor Light Rifle? Armor Light? Could, on, are you looking it up right now? Okay, I'll hold on while you look it up. That's fine. I hope it's Armor Light. Bless you, bless you. Even though that wasn't a sneeze, I'm just trying to be courteous. You no, know, it doesn't want to say what the ARF stands for. It's, hmm. uh, let me see. Ah. Oh, that's some tasty coffee I'm slurping on right there, just so you understand. It's Folgers Black Silk, in case you were wondering. Are you okay I, I over there? I don't have what the ARF stand for. Okay. The acronym, but it, the, what the initials stand for. I'm okay. Sorry. Do you have any? Do we have any other initials in any of the other banks that you're going to be mentioning to me? Of the other four banks that we've not mentioned yet. Um, well, the the other is Rock R O K. This one is Ooh, R O K. That that stands for Rambunctious Ostrich uh, Kangaroo. I know that one. I've dealt with them before. Okay. Yeah. What's the other one? It was ARF. ARF, and then the other one. What's the uh, there? There's, you said there was six, right? Yeah. yeah well, well, sorry, five, so seven figure funding. Seven figure funding. My guess is they probably don't loan out more than a thousand dollars, based off no, the they, based no, off no, of no. the title of the company. Seven no, figure funding. That means they can only lend out a thousand dollars at a time. I don't want to. I need more than a thousand dollars. They have loans up to three hundred thousand dollars. How can that be if they're only seven figure funding? They can only because you understand the what that means, them? don't you? No, sir. <coughs> seven uh, figure funding means it's the amount of decimal. It's the amount of zeros and no, decimal no, no. points. That's, that's the name of the business, sir. Um, okay. This okay. Is are um, we? Yeah, they, they they offer loans up to you know personal up to one fifty business uh -huh. loans up uh, from one hundred fifty three hundred thousand dollars and even more depending upon what the client needs. Okay, interesting, interesting. I like that. That sounds intriguing. I like that. I might deal with. <laughs> it. Oh, oh, are you okay? Everything? I, I'm okay. Are you sure? I. I you, you're sure. clearing your throat and coughing more than Joe Biden did at the uh, at the uh, no, State of the Union speech. No, I'm not coughing. I just kind of clearing your throat. Oh, right. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Because some people, I don't think Biden thought that he was coughing either, but it sure sounded like a cough. Did you watch the speech? No, I did not. It is the most intellectually stimulating speech you'll ever hear in your entire life. Okay. 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 Now that we've got that out of the way, let's move on to the loan. So, can you so hook me up? Let's let's write all these names of these lenders down on some uh, index cards for me, quick. And then what we're going to do is we're going to play a little game. We're going to pick out the best one that's going to fit me. No, sir. I don't. I, I only have a few more minutes. So I don't okay. All right. Well, that's why. Let's write quick. Okay. Get those index cards quickly. No, sir, oh. I don't have index cards. Uh, okay, do you have uh, any a deck of cards? Let's, we can, no, are sir. You, okay, we could probably save some more time if you didn't clear your throat so much. So let's see. What, okay, how many minutes do we have left here? I got, we're on the clock here, so let's see what we've got. Sir? Yes, I have about three or four more minutes. Three or four more um, minutes. Okay, all right, very good. Okay, let's... Let's flip a coin then. We're going to do the flip coin thing. That's going to be quicker. Do you have a coin on you? Preferably a Silver Eagle from 1998. Do you have a 1998 I, Silver Eagle handy just by your person? No, sir, I don't. Uh, how about do you have a uh, a 1936 Standing Liberty Quarter no, handy? No. Uh, you know what, Ms. Gilbert? I'm going to end this call. Well, no, no, no. I, we, we, have, we, have like, we have three minutes and four seconds left. I'm keeping the... <laughs> sir, wait. Yes. Hello. Right, stay with me here. Let's. We gotta get these banks picked. 
No, you, goodbye, sir. Wait, do you have any kind of coins? I'll take any coin. We gotta call him back. We get. We can't have this. We can't have. Sorry, the person you are trying to reach has a voicemail box oh, that has not been set up yet. Oh, of course they don't. Please try your call again later. Of course they don't have a voicemail that's been set up yet. <laughs> He didn't even have a 1936 Standing Liberty quarter to... <laughs> All right. Now, back to Metal Seer, because this is important. He says here, don't wish for deflation. And he's exactly right. That could be very, very bad. This only happens in very hard times. I remember my dad telling me how much he could have uh, bought dirt cheap during the Depression if you only had some money. I do wish the Fed would aim for 0% inflation, not the 2% many consider to be almost magical. In a previous comment section, Powell said the Fed didn't want to risk overshooting 2% inflation as it fought inflation. Yep, you're right. Exactly. And, and, I'm, and that's exactly what's happening in China right now. It's happening in China. Yep, that's right. So we, we talked about that just before you came here. It is an absolutely a tr absolute travesty what's going on in Congress. We did talk about that. Yeah. It's crazy. Horrible. Horrible. All right. Bill 457 is here. But Metal Seer, you are exactly right. And I did talk about that recently with what's going on in in China. They are in a deflationary period right now. Um, and that could actually be bad for silver uh, in, in manufacturing. We'll see. That's one thing. That Who knows? I mean, if there's... Uh, if we go into a recession, that's not going to be good for silver. That's going to fight everything. All the Fed, uh, Fed lowering rates, uh, that's going to probably prevent silver and widen that gold to silver ratio even more. I'm not saying silver is going to crash, but it could uh, it could be muted in its up uptick. So be wary of that. All right. Robert Tellis says, can I ask why $24.50 is the critical price? Well, essentially, it's based off of some technical analysis I read. It's not a hard, fast number. It's just that it's a critical price that, to where it could start to build a solidification of support at that level. That's where I see $24.50. The longer we stay above $24.50, the less likely it's going to fall below that. Just like $22.50 was my previous support price. It did fall below that, but not for very long. Now most people feel that we're beyond that, and likely this year we're not going to see it fall back below. Doesn't mean we can't. There's not. It's not a hard. It's not a very very hard and fast number, but it is a. It is one of the targets we're looking at. I guess you would say. Anti Act Jack is here. Good to see you. Good. Good to see all of you guys here tonight. I appreciate you being here. J S Perez is the twenty four fifty. Per ounce measurement, uh, looking to purchase some silver, and the uh, and the seller is selling approximately 20 ounces for 470. Uh, a breakaway silver bars, which comes in at roughly 23.50 per ounce, is it a good deal? Well, uh, it is a really good deal, especially um, at today's prices. Yes, that's a good deal, but I would make sure that the silver is genuine. Make sure you trust that seller if he's selling under, under spot. Yes, that's right. Metal seer, exactly. Somebody wake up Joe, exactly. Very, very good. Maybe a little deflation would be good right now. We have money to burn, but can't afford the matches. That's true, David G. I, but the thing is, I think the point of deflation is uh, a too much of a constriction in the money supply. I don't think we're going to have any fear of that anytime soon. But yes, uh, it would be nice on the short term to see it happen. Yes, indeed. Right, here we go. Another scammer. Wow. Hello? It's a busy night. I think it's going to be a robocall, and it's going to just disconnect here. I have a feeling on this one. I very highly doubt it's going to connect. Here we've got John. Yep. It just disconnected. John disagrees with me here. He says, all respect to you, Sal, but I'm a firm believer that there is some coordination from banks and government purposely keeping the price of silver down. It's absolutely being manipulated. Well, I do think there is manipulation going on. But somebody else mentioned something in another in an interview I saw that had a different word for it of what's going on. There's always adjustments in price because of the market. Man, their scammers are crazy tonight. Let's see here. Hello? Another auto dial. It's probably going to hang up again, but we'll, we'll keep it live just in case. 
Uh, and I and also the government and the bank, the central bank, uh, by its mere existence, is a manipulative force. The Federal Reserve aims to keep the dollar stable. In fact, that is one of the mandates of the Federal Reserve that I actually do agree with. They want to stabilize uh, inflation to 2%, which is still inflation, but I digress. Um, so there is that. That is a manipulative force, which is going to be a strain on most commodities, right? Including gold and silver. So it is being manipulated in that regard. I completely agree with you on that. Before I continue, first let's say thank you to Tucson Bubba for the second Super Chat of the night. Whoa, thank you, brother. $5 for sales coffee fund. Thank you, my friend. All we need from him is a bourbon pump to, to sanitize the chat. Let's do a slurp in stereo. Everybody put on your headphones. This is for Tucson Bubba in stereo. Here we go. There we go. All right. And by the way, I owe you guys some push-ups. Oh, let me do seven push-ups real quick for you and Tucson, for you and Metal Cedar while we're here just for getting some shiggles. Seven push-ups. Oh, yeah. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. There we go. We got it. Now we're all caught up, paid up with those. All right. There we go. Two some has got it going on there. Uh, nobody's. How many people got a call from people trying to sell you gold? That does not happen very often, does it? That's for sure. You're right. Okay. John says. I know you say it's an industrial metal, but only about 50%, and you would think the heavy, heavy industrial demand would help drive it higher. Yes, you would think, and I actually have talked about that, those dynamics too. There's a lot of recycling going on with silver too. Uh, then I think they, they were surprised to see more of it last year than, than not. But there's other factors too about those supply-demand fundamentals that do take a while to propagate into the price. Some make, could make the argument and that's one of the reasons why we're seeing higher silver price now uh, is because of that very thing. Seth Shepard is here. Silver Slammer is here. Welcome. Uh, platinum is also heavily used as an industrial metal, most notably in the automotive sector. But for some reason, the metal isn't allowed to rise. Maybe if the government didn't use a full monster box of silver per missile, they might let the price climb. Well, John, the thing is, is we really don't know if there's a full monster box of silver per missile, and that's just the Tomahawk missile. That has been bantered about for a long time, but it does not necessarily mean it's true. Uh, I did a video about that, I think back in 2017, um, about that very issue. We really don't know for sure. Uh, likely there is a fair amount of silver there, but probably not 500 ounces. I kind of doubt that story. But anyway, very good. All right. Let's see here, but good, and I appreciate the 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 pushback for sure, and I and I really do agree with you that there is, um, you know, manipulation of the markets in general. All commodities have some sort of manipulation or adjustments that are going on. All right. Ag Scrap Stack says here, Salivate's Law. Yes, exactly. Salivate's Law kind of went into effect a day late. I celebrated too early on this video. You were completely awesome, Sal. Had me rolling from the Hanging Tough reference. Thank you. Yes, indeed. Uh, you were spot on with Wisconsin repealing the sales tax signed by Governor Evers on Wednesday the 20th. Uh, it takes effect Saturday the 23rd by this weekend, Wisconsin. Yep, exactly. Just posted the story. I knew about it right when it happened, but there was so much other stuff going on. I couldn't uh, just do a, a video back right after each other. A lot going on. A lot to talk about on this channel. Uh, no question. No shortage of topics, it seems like, especially lately. Good to see Paul Sargent is here. He's going to keep on buying. Uh, R Russia and China vetoed the U.S. resolution for a ceasefire in Gaza. Finally, Russia and China did the right thing. Yes, I agree. I agree with you, Gold Maple. I'm glad that they uh, vetoed that resolution as well. Very, very good. That was a horrible resolution. All right. And uh, let's see here. We have got James O'Neill Brown says here, telling us what happened with him on his drive through Orlando uh, to check out on LCS. Close to me, there is no locations I would want to give any time of day to. It was a good experience in building a relationship with an LCS. 
It was just the thought of it. If anything ever happened to me, what would my wife do with the stack? For she is ignorant on the subject and is hard to teach about it. Nevertheless, the coin shop owner is an honest lady. And if not come home one day and my wife is in good hands, if she wanted to sell and go back to her original home in the Philippines, in appreciation, I bought a five ounce silver gold state man buffalo round for 135 bucks. Wow. Just wanted to share an experience with y'all. I guess it could maybe teach us about preparedness. Exactly right. Good idea. If you do have somebody you can trust and have another experience with that with somebody else, having another type of collectible item that he knows exactly where it can be liquidated if they was to pass. That's excellent advice, James O'Neill Bill James O'Neill Brown. Very well said. Thank you for sharing. And Frostbite is here. Good to see Frostbite Coins and Collectibles, another great channel on the community in the community. And Frostbite does talk about collectible coins and talks about the history behind a lot of these coins that we so enjoy. And really fascinating. He's got a pleasant voice and a great channel. Check him out. Very good. Dale Val is here. Welcome, Dale Val. And C4 is with us tonight. Michael K is still here. We love Michael K. And Amber is here, too. All right. Let's march ahead here. Appreciate you guys joining me here as we continue to press on with more of your comments. And let's see here. R3 says here, I'm curious, Sal. Having lived through the debacle of the 90s wax sports card and Beanie Baby collecting frenzy, do you see any parallels occurring within the special bullion rounds and coins being produced? Yes, I do. I've experienced that firsthand. Um, with the, I was all in on these, uh, on these limited mintage of like 1,400 and some uh, of these silver uh, uh, high relief antique gods of Olympus coins. I thought, man, these things are going to do great. I got less than my purchase price for them, even after silver went up in price. So uh, it does happen. But the thing is, is the difference between the Beanie Babies and the sports cards for a uh, phase or craze, those things basically just bottomed out and they were worth next to nothing. With silver, at least you got yourself, uh, you know, the, 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 the precious metals content value. Very good. About one gram gold from Walmart. Wow. All right. Great deals. Yeah, if you can find good deals at one grams, go for it. That's interesting. Amazing. What are you paying per gram there, Dudius Maximus? I'd love to know. And HVAC is still here. He's got that booming voice. He's awesome. Yes, indeed. We love HVAC. And Golbert Bunny is here with us. Golbert Bunny. I, wait a minute. Did I say Golbert Bunny? It's Golbert Bunny, not Golbert Bunny. I think, think that's right. You can emphasize gold bear bunny. Or is it gold bear bunny? Or is it gold bear bunny? Which do we emphasize? Which word should we emphasize with gold bear bunny? Maybe you can tell us. Maybe you can tell us. Which word to emphasize? Jenks is here. Good to see you. Uh, yeah, that's right. It does depend on which sports card you're talking about, for sure. Hillbilly Stock Picks is here. Good to see you guys. User says the following here. Uh, let me get to this here. Let me get to this. Put this here. And then where I got it. Okay, yesterday, this is a good, cool story. Yesterday, I turned 28, says user. I've gone to my LCS two times in the last three days. Wow. Three days ago, an older couple over twice my age went in to sell 14K of gold jewelry for cash. Today, I went and two individuals easily twice my age went in to sell sterling silver. On both occasions, I went in to buy gold and silver. I appreciate the older generation circulation, old gold and silver for us younger generation stackers like myself that are starting our stacking journey. Boom, you nailed it. There is going to be that kind of thing that's going to be happening. And that is, uh, that is one reason, part of the reason why premiums are lower. A lot of people are selling. Uh, Clear Lake Drive, yes, we got a, we had a scammer earlier. You should actually rewind it. It's probably a pretty good one call. You might be find that pretty interesting. 420 Stacker is here. Good to see you. 78 to 83. Somebody do the math on that. How close to spot is that? I think that's still above spot. Metal Seer, I think, knows. I think that's still well above spot price. Mm. AKA 47 is burning a cig right now. Deliciosis. All right. All right. Very good. And uh, Rufferer 
says here on this one. Let's get here. See what he's got to say. He says... I appreciate your info and analysis, but bringing up that the dollar has lost 97% of its purchasing power since 1913 is bogus. That would only be true if wages hadn't changed. Actually, no, they're mutually exclusive. The average wage in 1913 was 20 cents per hour. That translates to $6.67 per hour in today's dollars, well below today's average wage. So workers actually have more purchasing power than they did in 1913. Now, of course, wages have not kept up with inflation spike for recent years, but without comparing the inflation rate to what's happening with wages, you're only looking at half the equation. But that's just it, Ruffer. You, you missed the point. The dollar still has lost 97 to 98 to 99 percent of its value since 1913, which is why wages have gone up. Why are wages going up? Mainly because the government is forcing them up. The minimum wage laws, and they're, they keep changing those. And so it's, it's an artificially propped up market. The dollar still lost value, no matter what, even if wages went above um, uh, the rate of inflation, we're still experiencing inflation. And that's not happening, especially now. And it didn't happen last time we had hyperinflation or, or, or out of control inflation. See what I'm saying? They're mutually exclusive. One has nothing to do with the other, except that both are affected by inflation. A loss of the value of the dollar. That's the point. So, yes. And, and then, by the way, the dollar is what has the purchasing power. The dollar does not have the purchasing power, no matter how much you make. You know, uh, you know, uh, Jeff Bezos, last time I checked, he earns a lot more money than I do. But his dollars are worth the same amount as my dollars. In other words, if he pulls a $20 bill out of his pocket, it is not worth any more than a $20 bill that's in my pocket. That's the point. All right, but I appreciate the, the, the post, but I think you missed the mark there. All right, anybody find out if that was a good deal on this Grand Bars? Liberty Bleeds Silver, good to see you, brother. Donald Maryland is here. Buy low and buy high. It'll all even out. That's dollar cost averaging. That's true. And in the end, it will all even out. That's for sure. Yes, indeed. All right. Uh, Silver Patriot, nice additions to the stack, Sal. Um, it's a shame precious metals are no longer in our circulating coins. I remember as a kid hunting change for wheat pennies and silver quarters and dimes. Stack on smartly, buddy. Yes, that's right, Silver Patriot. In fact, I have another comment that I think I'm going to get to here later on about another metal that not a lot of people talk about. Uh, Yankee. Uh, okay, Sal, is the dollar's devaluation most of the increase in the price of gold? I don't think it is, actually. Uh, believe it or not, that's a good question, Yankee Doodle Stacker. I think the the uh, the increase in the price of gold is mostly due to central banks buying, but I think it is to some extent uh, due to the uh, to the dollar's um, loss of value. But uh, a lot of times, it's it's there's more going on in the gold market than just a direct correlation with inflation. But I think it's contributing. But anyways. Uh, but yeah, good, good question. Good question. I think the gold price of gold is being propped up mainly by China and other nations buying gold. Metal Seer. Thank you, my friend, with the $2 super chat. Roman manual laborers were paid one ounce of gold a month. Whoa, really? I did not know that. I thought they were paid about one silver denarius a day, which is about the size of a silver dime. But one ounce of gold per month. Wow. Yes, indeed. All right. Let's see here. Very good. All right. Uh, Marie Corre here says, um, I'm filling, I'm filling carts and hitting the purchase button on autopilot. First three months, it was North American junk silver. Now it's Canadian and U.S. dimes. I bought my first silver trade dollar. I'm thinking about the winged liberty or USC to liberty. I'm wild. But with a purpose, there you go. All right, sounds like a collectible, a, co a collector purpose. There, going on, very cool. Mm. Mark B is with us tonight. Welcome, Mark B. THS is here. Savage Lee is here on this, on this night. We're having fun here, as we press on to the next comment from No Censorship. Well, I appreciate taking the time to comment. 
And this is what he says. Um, I liked your video. Also, something to consider is how we all trade potential silver and gold purchases for disposable plastic junk and overpriced name brand products we don't need. We let a lot of people and companies drain us of our potential gold and silver purchases. If we all had to trade our precious metals for these unnecessary services and products, we'd probably be less likely to do so. But instead, we trade in government IOU paper or digital plastics so that we don't mind spending as much as we do. You make some very good points here, no censorship, but I was reminded just today from an individual that there are some things more important or just as important, maybe even more important than gold and silver that we should be spending our money on too. And I'm going to probably be doing a video about this because I think it's very, very important. And something I kind of knew, I kind of made an offhand, backhanded comment about a milkshake. It's a milkshake theory, an old milkshake theory type of thing, but... Uh, so stay tuned for that. Inspired by No IQ. Well, I don't know if he's still with us here, but uh, definitely a good reminder. No question about that. Uh, let's see here. What's going on? Let's get over here too. I or hate hypocrisy. The death metal band or just the concept? I'm curious. I gotta know which one. Dennis Niemeyer is here. Appreciate the thumbs up, guys. Thank you. He says we got 86 of them. Let's see here. Where are we at? Come on, why is this? Yeah, we got to make this thing elaborate. Here we go. All right. Dang it. Can't win for losing here. This is the game. They move the price to 22 to 26. People go crazy for silver. Then the price goes down to 22 again. You think you are lucky, so you stack more. Yes. I know, I hear you. It, it seems like a never-ending game. I think that maybe that's one reason why people are kind of holding off because they sense it. Uh, because they sense it. Anyways, Matthew Crustlife, get around to saying my name. I'm considering leaving. <laughs> Matthew, thank you, Matthew. You got what's happening. I wish I would have left that comment up. I responded to it. I should have responded to it live on a live stream. Uh, but it was crazy. All right, let's see here. Richard Metcalf. On this is silver dead video. The market is just boom. It's just crazy. I'm too old to be a wild child, but not too old to keep on stacking. The Swiss lower their interest rate, which strengthened the dollar. The first of the basket of monies the dollar is measured against to do so. Gold is now at an all time high against the Swiss franc. A little insight as to what might happen if we finally lower rates. Very good. I think yes, indeed. Good point. That's probably what's behind part of the drop. Very good point. All right. Mm-hmm. That's the milkshake theory. Bringing all the scammers to me. Lassie Farm is here. We love Lassie Farm. Good to see you, brother. Hope you're doing well. Check out his channel if you want to take a ride along through the parts unknown and known. And, uh, all right. And let's see here. Now, uh, please remind me not to read Michael Phillips' comment because I don't want him to get sick from eating a dirty sock. So I refuse to read that. Andrew Quirzo, uh, Quiroz, I mean, Quiroz says this, this, he says here, uh, it's amazing how everyone goes from being bullish to absolutely bearish in a day's span with silver. Well, not that in itself. What's more amazing that you guys literally do this all year for years, and I've been watching this channel. It's amazing. Well, Andrew, Kuroz, you may be watching, but you're not paying attention uh, because I talk about the markets and move day by day, and I even talked about it before and joked about how here just yesterday it was going up. I talk about the news. That's precious metals news. And by the way, me talking about the news does not mean I'm bearish or bullish. In fact, I've been con constantly bullish on silver, to the detriment of being wrong about it the past couple of years. So, Andrew, uh, you may be watching, but you're not paying attention. I had to tell somebody else about that, too. But anyways, let's see here. Not paying attention. So pay attention, Andrew. Very good. All right, let's see here. And, uh, and somebody just emailed me about the video I just recorded about Wisconsin. It's crazy. It's crazy. Anyways. Just recorded that video. Uh, somebody's emailing me about it. Let's see here. All right, let's see here. 
Richard uh, Metcalf, it seems silver just can't make up its mind bouncing between 24 and 25. Price matters not unless you are selling. That's right. In the end, and that's kind of what I'm trying to focus on this year, the greater message about silver uh, and why it's important to hold it outside of just the price. Uh, Big, T, Big Texas Bullion says this. Uh, great time to accumulate. Who wants to pay $2 plus spot for generics like 2021, 2022, and 10 to $15 over for Eagles? That's right. Exactly. That's right. Hello, Ron Wells. Good to see you. I'm glad you're here. Silver Days can't afford to pay attention. That's right. That was a lyric in a song from what band? I can't afford to pay attention. That's in a lyric. Now, there may be other bands, but this is a heavy metal band that I'm referring to here. Name the band. Name the band. All right. Matthew Crestlife posting the uh, the Silver Tiger things. We don't, although we have a tiger in here. Happy Tiger, but Silver Tiger is not here. Uh, hopefully he'll come back. Red Crawler, no physical fiat. It will be tossed into the streets when it becomes worthless. Just like a Venezuela, I guess. That may be, still be a ways off, but yes. And the Zardoz is here. Welcome, Zardoz. Good to see you, brother. Uh, Gene Murray here, or Vince Murray. I think this is Vince Murray saying this. Uh, says, Swordfish is nice. Um, I see the ship with a large mast. I love them. I'm an art fan. To be honest, I got 324 ounces of silver and 2 ounces of gold, but my silver piece is most of them I don't even want to sell. Like the 1 kilogram Noah's Ark I have, I'll leave that to my son. Some coins are sentimental to me. I agree. I'm with you on that, Vince. And uh, it's fun. It's fun to collect that stuff. And thank you. That's one reason why I show cool pieces on the channel is to hopefully entice viewers to keep watching and, and uh, to get you here. All right. Let's see here. <clears throat> and J.M. Lee says, great deal, Sal. Yes, many people are feeling the inflation squeeze. Indeed, they are. $5 for a small milkshake is outrageous, uh, but it just goes to show its purchasing power of fiat is continuing to weaken. Exactly right. It sure is. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. This coffee is becoming lukewarm now. Kind of like my personality. As we press on forward here to the next, next comment here that we've got on the pike. We've got uh, Suru Mike. Suru Mike here on this one says, This week I bought a 10-ounce Britannia silver bars for spot. Wow. We have to pay VAT in UK, which sucks, but for spot, usually got 10-20% premiums minimum on Brit bars. That is amazing. Silver Mike. There's some Brits that are watching this live stream right now. We're going to, we'd like to know where where to go. Red Crawler says we got two more likes for a hundred. Nice. Nice. Very cool. Two more likes for a hundred. Nice. All right. Very good. Let's see here. We've got uh, Carrie Taran says, Woohoo, each step is great news. More states are waking up to the Fed's BS. Freedom, freedom, freedom. That's right, Kerry Turan. And thank you for watching this video. Victory. Uh, awesome move, Wisconsin. That's right, Dennis Niemeyer. Thank you. The guys have not heard. Check out this video I posted about from Wisconsin. Big news coming out of Wisconsin there. And uh, let's see here. Uh, and we've got uh, Daniel, Danny Bass. That is the only thing Tony has done I agree with. He's not talking about uh, Tony Erickson. He's talking about Tony Evers here. That's right, Daniel. Thank you, Daniel. Lance Williams. How do most of you guys still make profit, even with downturn in economy, ever-increasing life standards, by toying around with your, uh, your, your, your failed um, spam comment? We're going to leave it there because what these do, they set up for people to post underneath of them and get people curious. But... Uh, when that happens, we'll delete it. Uh, North Shore, good news for sure. Another state joins a club. That's right. And this is a club you want to be in if you are a citizen of these states. Yes, indeed. All right. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, Kalanick Stacker, how do we know that you are not Klaus Schwab? Well, because my cousin's name is Charles. Uh, Silver Days, Doug McLeod. I don't know who Doug McLeod is, Silver Days. So hmm, I'm not sure who that is. I apologize. Spammy McSpam face. That's right. Spammy McSpam face for this Lance Williams thing, but we'll see. I mean, there may be a slim chance that it's not, so I'll leave the comment there, but... All right, very good. And we've got Tony Erickson. All I can say is, woo-hoo, daddy isn't getting taxed. I'll be pouring at breakneck, breakneck pace now. I tell you what, this comment uh, right now alone is a, is, is a direct representation of what low taxes or, or uh, taxes all, or, or, you know, elimination of taxes will do. It'll spur the economy. He'll be able to produce more silver and gold and sell it without worrying about taxes. And boom, it'll just be great. As soon as I said boom, here comes Metal Seer. All right, Metal Seer with the $5 Super Chat says, In Roman times, one denarius equals 3.9 grams of silver. One aris, a gold coin used in, was 25 silver denarii. Manual labor, one denarius a day or one gold coin a month. Okay, and the, uh, the gold coin, the aris, though, I don't think was... I don't think was um, uh, much uh, more than a, about a quarter ounce, if I'm not mistaken. I think those coins were very thin and pretty light. But if, if but I have to check my facts on that. But thank you, Metal Seer. Well, Michael K for the car fund. Thank you, Michael K. I appreciate that, my friend. Thank you very much. I'll make sure to put that aside. I am in need of a car. I'm probably gonna, but I want to try to save up for it. So I do definitely appreciate that. All right. Oh, okay. You were mentioning. Okay. Yeah, it was not Doug McLeod. This is a heavy metal band, but good guess. All right. There you go. All right. Very good. And uh, let's see here. Let's do 10 push ups for Metal Seer and Michael K. Hold on a second here. Let me get to where I can make this thing most effective here. 10 push ups. Let's do it. Let's do it. Here we go. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. There we go. There we go. Ten push ups. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Let's see here. And for those of you who are new here, um, what I usually do for every dollar donated via Super Chat, I do a push up or an exercise. Every dollar donated via PayPal, friends, and family, I do too. Why do I do two on PayPal, friends, and family? Because uh, the Super Chats, uh, YouTube takes 30%, and um, in taxes take another 20 to 25%, uh, maybe even 30% if you include state taxes. And so, yeah, so there's that. And so PayPal, friends, and family, no fees. So there we go. All right, very good. Uh, Thank you so much, Richard Metcalf. You are the man. And Happy Tiger can probably do more push-ups than me. She's a fitness guru. That's awesome. Yes, indeed. That's right. And thank you for being here, Happy Tiger. And Lassie Farm, too. The one. Yes, where's Native? We haven't seen Native. Native kind of comes and goes at will. Um, so he'll probably be back. Yes, indeed. All right. Dale Val says this. The big banks are dumping it. Why over all the sales numbers only locked down? I believe it's more coming into the markets from the riggers. Okay. That very well could be part of it. Well, from what I heard, they're, they're getting rid of the shorts, though. It's not They're not getting rid of the longs, but I don't know. And uh, let's see here. HVAC Residential Basics. I'm driving hands-free, so I can't comment. Looks like you just did, but thank you, brother. And I appreciate it, my bro. Appreciate it so much. And we've got no IQ. Life is short. Enjoy a milkshake. Amen, brother. Amen. Yep, you're right. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. If you do, I keep forgetting to say that. If you do send it via PayPal, friends and family, please put your profile name so that I can properly thank you. I don't want to use real names on the air, but I do see those when they come in real time or close to real time. 
So I appreciate that. Okay, uh, Michael, R is for about 7.7 .7 grams. Okay, I knew it was somewhere around a quarter ounce. Thank you. Appreciate that very much. And let's see here. Have a good night, Amber. Appreciate you coming in, Amber. Appreciate you so much. Take care. And uh, let's see here. HVAC says, I bought yesterday, picked up a stone mountain, half dollar for $10. Whoa, HVAC. Boom. That's a premium coin. That's amazing. I've never seen a deal for that. I think the the lowest I've paid for one of those is about $35. Boom. What a deal. What a great deal on that. I don't know if HVAC's still here, but that is an incredible deer deal. John Merck, Mech. John R. Mech says, don't forget about the copper sense. That's what the comment. Copper is a special metal. It is the only metal that is still being used as money today. Exactly. All right, thank you, THS. Thanks for popping in tonight. I appreciate you so much. That's right, copper. Now, even though there's only a small coating on uh, Lincoln Sense right now, the fact is that about 88% of your quarter content is copper, as is 75% of your nickels, 25% being uh, nickel, and, and dimes. Dimes are also made about 88% copper, if I'm not mistaken. All right, there we go. Do the math. One denarius. Okay, uh, a metal seer says two dollars. Says uh, do the one denarius equals three point nine grams. The silver one uh, RS is twenty five denarius. Okay, I I think I was just going by what you had said uh, earlier that you said it was uh, a month's wage was uh, one ounce of gold. Uh, let's see here. One denarius equals twenty five den. Uh, one is twenty five denarius, and then uh. So, yeah, let's see here. So, one RS, that would be almost a month then. So, yeah, about a quarter ounce of gold as opposed to an ounce of gold. Very good. All right, there you go. HVAC is here. That's a great deal you got on that quarter, on that half dollar. That was great. Matthew saved all mine and my baby mama's change for the last three years. I have no idea. It fills a large storage hub tub. Say, what did you save, uh, Matthew? Your pre-82 pre cents? Very good. Let's see here. Good info, says uh, Chris Bustler. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate that very, very much. Oh, what? Look at this, folks. We just got this from, from well, from Lassie Farm. Lassie Farm just PayPal'd just now $11. Thank you. From staff from Lassie Farm, the one and the only. Lassie, let's give you 22 push-ups. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate that so much. Oh, and Lassie Farm, I hope you saw my latest video about gold and silver in Wisconsin. You're going you're gonna to love that. Here we go. All right, here we go. Thank you, Lassie Farm. You were the man. Here we go. I won't do these as good as Happy Tiger, but I'm going to give it my, give it the old uh, community college try. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, and twenty-two. Uh, and I'm sure my form is not the best either, but I try my best. At least I'm not using my knees. But he was like, thank you so much. Lassie Farm, you were the man. All right. Very, very good. Okay, let's see here. Let's press on. <clears throat> Refresh these comments, see what we've got here. Okay. Let's get on down here. Oh, Cyber Curtain Twitcher. I tried doing a cartwheel myself after watching your video, and now I have a bad back. <laughs> Sense of humor is great even nine years ago. Look at that, Cyber Curtain Twitcher. Henry Bowman, of all the con contrivances for cheating the laboring classes of mankind, none has been more effective than which deludes them with paper money. From Daniel Webster, wow. Amazing quote, amazing quote. Whoa, Golden Rod. 
Thank you, Golden Rob, with a $10 super chat. I finally broke down and bought an ounce of Bitcoin. Uh, whoa. Whatever happened to the Texas digital currency backed by gold? I want it now. Wow. Amazing. An ounce of Bitcoin. Uh, Golden Rod. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. Let's do you 10 curls this time. For Golden Rod. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that very, very much. All right. And thank you, uh, JM, for posting a link to CyberCurrent Twitcher's channel. Highly encourage everybody to check him out on YouTube, which is the platform we're on right now, live streaming. Let's do 10 curls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I did not uh, do those curls on my knees either, Terry. Did not do them on my knees. All right. Thank you, guys. Let's see here. John Knox, I want the silver, Uncle Sal. Send me all your silver. Let's send it all away. Oh, my goodness gracious. I've got a video about silver coming tomorrow morning. Can you believe it? You're going to probably want to see it. Uh, David G., thanks, Sal. Great for Wisconsin. But what took so long? I know it's crazy. It's crazy. I'm glad that they were, they finally did it, though. I was actually kind of shocked and surprised, to be honest with you. Jesus loves Americans, says this on the Silver is Dead video, the following. I still say the government is suppressing precious metals so people don't realize just how bad the economy is under potato head. Well, yeah, they, they could, but the thing is, is um, it's one of those things, if they don't talk about it, they don't draw any attention to it, I don't think most Americans really care, um, but I think they are suppressing it, but I think it's a backhanded way, but but you could be right, you could be right, you're sure. All right, very good. Whoa, this just came in. Whoa, from Michael K. Car Fund. Whoa, first from the Super Chat, now here from, from the uh, PayPal friends and family from Michael K. for the Car Fund. Thank you, brother. Yeah, that's what I'm doing with the with the PayPal donations. They're all going to the car fund. So definitely appreciate that, my friend. Very kind of you, sir, indeed. And uh, let's see here. Let's do 10 push-ups for him. Actually, dude, let's do 10 more curls. 10 more curls for Michael K. Thank you, Michael. All right, let's see here. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, there we go. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Let's see here. Oh, yeah, no worries, Michael. I appreciate it, my friend. You're very, very, very kind. Thank you, brother. All right. This algorithm from No IQ. Thank you, No IQ. I think you posted that right before. We came on deck here. Sense of humor says here the following. It has been a couple of years in the making. It is boots on the ground. There were times that I didn't think the bill would go anywhere. I found out about the Shea Shortwalls bill from 2017. I've kept calling them for support. Call your local representatives. Look up coin stores around your state. Give them the info what's going on so they can make their voices heard. Great advice. We forget that one person can make a huge difference. I called Governor Evers' office to encourage him to sign the bill. A person from his office called me yesterday to let me know that he had to sign the bill. You can make a difference in your state. Do not forget that. If you don't let your voice be heard, then you will be stuck with not getting what you stand for. Boom. Very well sta stated. Way to go. Silver Wolverine, have a good night. Thank you again for your compliment, my friend. I appreciate you. Very good. Uh, Tony Erickson is selling his beans tomorrow. As long as you don't spill them, you can sell them, all right? Just don't spill those beans. All right. Unless you spill them around me or onto me. Uh, Pruist says, Sir, we can not call us, we can not 
Si kvar kun i klikker og nu kommer bare klart på Kvarlaka på Kønslikabal, det kommer på Kvinkingsheim. I couldn't agree more. Uh, Ilium Armory says here, amazing a liberal would repeal a tax. Didn't think it was possible a big government spent liberal spenders. I know, I was really shocked and surprised. There you go, very good. All right, let's see here. Have a good night, Rob Moran. Thank you. Oh, the, uh, Rob Moran's still here. He's saying good night to Civil Wolverine. Okay, very good. And uh, Matt Bittner with an algorithmic hot dog. Thank you, sir. Always appreciate that. James Rio, I live in Wisconsin. We worked hard to get this passed. Thanks, Al. Good news. Looks like it's been a long time running indeed. Very, very, very good. All right, let's get over here too. See what's popped up here. Um, Selwyn's uh, Nayer, Nayer's Jr. says, I'm so ecstatic that Tony Evers signed the bill. There is no tax on silver and gold. Celebration time. Oh, yeah. Bottoms up for that. Very good. And uh, let's see here. We've got Snake Bite says, I just purchased another 10 ounce bar tonight for $27 an ounce. We'll chuck it in the stack. Way to go. Way to go, brother. Snake Bite. That's awesome. Going back in time a bit, nine years, the hockey puck is what they call it. Me call it. There you go. It is like a hockey puck. That's some thick, so, thick copper right there. I like it. Very nice salivate. I like it. I've not seen one of those before. I like those cartwheels. British two pence. They also have the one pence, too. Same year, single year, 1797. Richard Metcalf, I was reading a comment. You two blocked me. I still see you, Mark B. You're still here. You're not blocked, brother. We got you. You're here. Mm -hmm. ah. We've got uh, Flash Hider. It's a very cool coin. Is it silver or copper? It is copper. And uh, let's see here. We've got, uh, that is huge. How much does it weigh? Is that 100% copper? Very nice. It is 100% copper. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it in the video, uh, but it's weight. I don't know if I weighed it in the video or not, but it's probably almost two ounces. British humor escapes me, he says, half dollar one. <laughs> it's because we spell it differently than you. That's right. I love it. That's great. All right. Gold Chick is here with us tonight. The lovely Gold Chick is here. West Texas Stacker is with us tonight. Appreciate you watching. Silver Guy Forever says, very cool. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Silver God Forever. Appreciate it. Uh, great info from the Mint. Thank you, 2015 Ultra High Relief Gold and Silver Eagle coming when I first made the announcement of it way back when. Wow. Man, how time flies. Nice notes from our nation's early years. Sure are. Crazy. Cool to see those early year notes. Nice to announce part of the stack. There we go from Mr. Old Fang going through, cycling through some of the videos here with the Soft Teak and Cuddly Kitty. Trading in some gold. Fantastic 24K gold. Love that pure gold. Good stuff. Gold is good. Joey Libs is here. Welcome, Joey Libs. Good to see you. So that's a nice pressed coin. Thank you. One ounce silver Mexican around. I love those pieces. Love those onzas. There's Snake Bite. He's here. Boris Bulliak is here. C4 is still with us. Appreciate you guys. Jay Bones, the stories that coin has. Oh, can you imagine on its journeys and travels through history? If we can only see... Yes, indeed. Mm-hmm. Frugal life. Yep, as a dog soldier says, it's a cartwheel two pence. My mom had a cartwheel penny in her purse when I was a child, and it was used to fascinate me. Nice example. Yes, indeed, for sure. First look at the twenty at the Kennedy gold half dollar. Yeah, that gold Kennedy half dollar goes on sale Tuesday for twelve forty. Man. Oh, man. You know, you can get it for close to that. In fact, I think I got mine for about 1500 I think. It's crazy. All right. Uh, Stomanix, 8692. I don't know why the RCM just doesn't use the FG, the Queen, that is on the World British and Australian Mint. Well, each nation has their own artist to do it. Still has to be approved by the monarch, but the Susanna Blood effigy is horrible. It's the worst one that they had, and it's still being used. Even on some Canadian 2024 coins, believe it or not, it's still being used. Are you worth your weight in silver and gold? Hey, working on it. There you go. Keep on eating. Nice retirement, says uh, George Sandov. Yes, that would be a nice retirement for that. All right. Uh, Mr. McFu says, can you make a video on what it is going to most likely happen on August the 15th? Well, I'm sorry that date has come and gone. 
from that year. But uh, I might do something when it comes around this year to see, especially if the BRICS nations announce a, a gold-backed currency or some sort of commodity-based currency. Niels Han Dynasty is here. Good to see you. All right. I'm glad you're here. All right. Very good. Mm -hmm. It is a flesh wound for Benny Hill. <laughs> he loved the ladies. Benny Hill loved the ladies. He had some nice ladies in his in his skits. Yes, he did. Uh, Steve AUAG. Those are great looking pieces. I have twenty. I have two twenty dollar uh, gold pieces, and I love them. Uh, the history behind them is what appeals to me. Great video. It's cool that the shop lets you come video their products. Yes, it's pretty cool. It's pretty amazing. Some of these classic American coins. Now that I have some of them, some of them as well, it really does make you appreciate them for sure. Good stuff. I love the classic pre-33 gold. Beautiful coins indeed. I don't have a typeset of all of them, but one of these days, it's just hard to pay a huge premium for those dollar coins and the three dollar ones. That's the only thing. But anyways, welcome. Dave Richardson is coming to us from the United Kingdom, from England specifically. Good to see you. Save at UAG, great looking poor bars. I'm really liking to those after seeing so many videos showcasing them. Yes, they're pretty cool. It's pretty neat to see those heavy bars. Salivate is bringing silver bars back. Yes, right, exactly. There you go. Thank you, Del Rugby. Let's see here. I've got Prankster Guy. Nice bar and thanks for the vid. I've been getting the 10-ounce sunshine bars from J.M. Bland. They, too, have a nice security features. Keep prepping. Will do. Thank you. And Gag says, very nice bar, Cell Can I ask how much of a spot you pay for the bar? Well, even then, they were going for quite a premium over. Uh, but they're nice. And just like today, they still have a pretty big premium. Big Trader is here. Rob Moran is still with us tonight. And actually, believe it or not, guys, I got a skedaddle here. But uh, it's been a good night here. I appreciate you guys joining me here uh, this evening. And thank you for all the support and kindness. We're going to be back here, yes, indeed, on Sunday night. If not before, you never know what could happen. But uh, I appreciate everybody being here tonight and for all of your support and kindness. Thanks for the Super Chats and PayPal. It means a lot. You guys are amazing. So I'm going to leave you with this sage piece of advice that I think is going to help you throughout your life. And that is to keep your feet on the stars and keep slurping with the clowns. Take care, all. See ya.